Top Music, NT, Pie Show. You feel me? Today. And thank y'all too. So, what's going on, my royal family, my kings and queens? I'm your host, King Philippe, and you already know this is Top Music NT Pod Show, Top Music Entertainment, and the voice that you just heard was the Queen of Comedy. Queen herself, the Queen of Comedy, Academy Award winner Monique and her husband Sydney. Now, before we get into Monique and her husband, because I'm, I'm going to play some little clips from um, Monique and her husband. I get, I guess the show is called Open Relationship, but. They titled this video that I'm actually watching, and it say, "Inspired by Steve Harvey." Why do we celebrate failure? Now, that that right there, really, really, just like boom. It boomed me, you know, because I'm like, wow, and especially in the black community. Especially in our community, man. I haven't even watched this complete video yet. I've been doing, you know, some research, looking at other bloggers and vloggers, and hearing what they had to say about it and stuff like that. So I just, I just got over here to Monique, and I want to hear scrape from the horse's mouth. Now, what is actually going on is earlier this week. Steve Harvey lost two jobs. His TV show was canceled and it's being replaced by I mean I'm sorry his talk show. The yeah, Steve Harvey show. It's um it's been replaced by Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson has something coming out and um is it CBS, NBC, whoever that you know they counsel Steve Harvey and Kelly Carson will be will be uh, filling his spot. Not only was that counsel, but you know Steve Harvey is the host of um, Little Big Shot. Now Melissa McCartley will be the new host. Of um, Little Big Shot And I, let me just say I love Melissa I'm just going to say that man, Because I freaking love Melissa Melissa McCartley That's my girl But yeah So yeah Little Big Shot will be Hosted by Melissa McCartley And um, Kelly Clarkson Is replacing Kelly Clarkson NBC NBC um, will be replacing Steve Harvey Steve show with Kelly Clarkson. So he lost two jobs. And not only that, the big homie Lee Daniel also got the boot two times. So stars is counsel. Lee Daniel show stars and counsel. Not only that, um, you know, the infamous Empire has also been let go. This will be, well, the season that they're recording now will be their last season. 
if you guys don't remember back when Monique was doing a lot of uh, speaking out against the reason why she was blackballed and you know basically basically the politics of the industry and um the shadiness you know I talk about the um, music industry a lot but you know Hollywood and film is no different all of us all of us the same it's really really evil it's really really shady I can remember when uh, Monique was on Steve Steve Harvey Steve show and you know nobody really came to bat for her publicly you know like um you had everybody behind closed doors saying, you know, she she she's telling the truth or whatever because they wanted her to promote was it precious overseas for free and you know she wasn't like doing it. You know, like who does that? Pay me. Not only that, um <clears throat> With the net, with the Netflix thing and whatever like that. So at one point, people was out here looking at Monique like, and I say people, meaning you know the um, spectators and fans, because people like Steve Harvey, Lee Daniel, Tyler Perry, Oprah, like y'all are in the industry, y'all know, y'all knew that girl wasn't so far fetched with what she, what 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 she was saying. Y'all know this. When you in the business, you know the business. <laughs> like, so I didn't understand why people was doing Monique the way she, they was doing her. Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram, all them places. Especially with these memes, man. Y'all feel like Monique, since Steve got fired. Daniel lost the show. Y'all feel like Monique got revenge, you know, what goes around comes around. Y'all, I hear people saying that, well, they didn't stand up for Monique. I know Monique got the last laugh or whatever like that. Honestly, I have kept away from the negative press surrounding this. What Monique titled this episode means so much more to me than a joke. Inspired by Steve Harvey, why do we celebrate failure? Oh, excuse me. Please, but, um, <clears throat> see, I'm human. Hey, y'all, y'all are sending my story. Come on. But I'm human. But a lot of people feel like, you know, there was only chance to have revenge or y'all didn't come, y'all didn't stand up for me. And it's not like that, man. Like, I'm, I'm a very, very firm believer in lifting, uplifting my brother and my sister, my, my queens and kings, my kings and queens, my royal family. That's why I talk about that. That's, that's what I mean, man. We have to stand together. We, us, as a culture. We have to stand together. There's nothing to celebrate about these guys losing their job. You know, people have bills. They have family. They have, they have support. These are businessmen, you know, losing opportunities like this. There's a pay cut, a significant amount of pay cut. Think about the people that they have employed. Like, there's nothing to celebrate, you know. And yes, when Monique was going through what Monique was going through, they were standoffish, or they was combative, or, you know, they challenged her um, feelings. Yes, that happened then. And just her whole attitude, from what I've read and watched from other bloggers, now we're about to... I'm not gonna. The, hey, the interview is like. I mean, the um, the show's like an hour or something long. I think that's what I saw. So I ain't gonna play the whole thing, but I'm just gonna point out some key points when I when I come across. It. It's 59, then one minute and 32 seconds. So that's the hour. And one yeah, minute I'm gonna try to keep that way shorter than that. Her um, loyalty was her people.
people. This show her sisterhood. This show her um, her ability to be queen and take the throne and wear her crown. This this is royal mood. She is not bashing these guys. She is hurting for the guys. There's nothing to celebrate right here. You know, this is just love. Let's uplift our brothers. And I don't even think them losing their job was a chance, was a time for, you know, for somebody to say, oh, I told you so, or uh, should have did what you did to me. Like, no, it's because it's not that deep. It's not, it's not like that. You know, the way. So without me rambling anymore, any longer, because this story is. Um, anyway, let's get into um, what Monique and her husband. Oh, shit. Please excuse my French. But I just dropped all my devices. <laughs> that ain't cool. Oh, let's get into what Monique and her husband are talking about. Her husband. Her husband. Somebody told me a lot of guys. Bro, I'm valid. I'm valid. I'm valid. I'm valid. But you my brother, though. We brothers. All right, your family, man. You know I love it. I love you guys. Remember, each other support each other. Most of all, know your worth. Monique, holler, holler at my listeners, please, baby girl. Hey, sir. In my new line, and the calling number is 470-282-1802. What are we talking about today, baby? Why do we celebrate that? Why do we celebrate that? You want to what you want to say about this one? Today. This topic today. Because why? Well, because you got me tagged mm. a, a whole lot. Yes, I have. Says Steve has got me his show canceled and little big shots. And just thought it'd be a great time to speak about it in addition to uh, Lee Daniels. Yes. So we just thought that we would have, a, you know, a little conversation about it like we always do. Now, I, I, I want to kick it off. Kick it off. Okay. And the reason why I want to kick it off is because some of the memes and tags I've been getting has been almost celebratory. Almost well, have been celebratory. When people say, that's what his ass get. Yeah, yeah, Mo, see? Let me be clear about something. Let us be clear about something. We do not celebrate what appears to be someone else's demise. We do not stand and applaud and say, yeah, right. look what's happening. That's what you get. That's not where we're coming from. No. That's not the stance we've ever taken. So what I would ask y'all to do is... We got to love our folks through it. Yeah. We got to love them through it. And I know some people would say, hey, Monique is crazy because one minute she's saying they didn't do it right and the next minute she's saying love them through it. Let me tell you exactly what we're saying. Tell them. Steve Harvey, I've, I've considered him my friend. Now, maybe he didn't consider me his friend, but I've always considered him my friend. And that's my friend. When we came out and said what was going on, it wasn't to put my friend down. It was to say, this is what it is. This is what's happening. And you've often referred to him as your brother. As my brother. When it comes to Brother Lee Daniels, I'm getting all kind of hits. That's what his ass get, Mo. Yeah, see? Karma is a bitch. All of that. I don't celebrate. My brother Lee Daniels. Getting those shows canceled. Because what I want us to think about, when those shows get canceled, I can't celebrate Lee Daniels getting canceled because so many other people are involved that lose their jobs. Mm. That some people, when they lose those jobs, there are bills that doesn't get paid. Mm. There are situations and, and things that happen because you're used to making that money and now it's being taken away. And some of us are standing up saying, yay. If we continue to do that, we'll continue to be treated the way that we're treated. Mm. And you, you, you want something to eat? So the disagreement that her and Steve, Lee, uh, uh, Tyler, Oprah, that has nothing to do. Disagreeing with somebody means that 
we respect you too much to sit here and pretend like we agree with you, and we really don't. Yes. But we love you enough that even though we may have disagreed with you, when we see you get violated or done wrong, then we got to speak to it because if we sit back and we laugh at this brother because the show was taken off or the shows were taken off and his numbers may have been lower than they were, but when you number four Mm -hmm. or five on the network, what it's saying to the folks are in network television, what it's saying to the folks are, and we just laugh at him, your baby, Mm -hmm. your brother, your sister, Somebody out there has some talent in that family. You may be the talent in your family. And you may look like Steve Harvey. You may be a person of color. <clears throat> and what will oftentimes happen is, because what a lot of people don't know is what he was trying to accomplish was groundbreaking. He had ownership in his show with a company called IMG. And it wasn't NBC being able to own it in a way that they normally did it. So it was groundbreaking, and it was as if if we can't have oh, wow. as much as we want, we got to go. So wow. the very message, ever so humbly, that Monique was trying to share with Brother Steve in reference to integrity over money. Hmm. We, have- if y'all can remember correctly, um, Murder Inc went through like this whole indictment deal. This is how the industry is. The Irv Gotti, Dame Dash, and it was somebody else. If I remember correctly, these guys were trying to start, because you know, black people don't own distribution, like a distribution factory, like like a distributing factory for like plant or, you know, a Black people don't own it. We had to buy that stuff. Like Sony on the distribute. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I'm trying to rush and say this and then get back. <laughs> I'm trying to rush and say this so we can get back to the, to what um, ne- uh, Monique that was talking about. But black people don't own that. They were actually trying to come together to build this, um, this, this distributing place. This distribution place for um, art. For us, you know, so we can release out so they can have completely ownership and don't need the industry for nothing. And I promise you, they ran this investigation, tried to say that they was been indicted and had money laundry and fraud and all that going on, all because they wanted to stop these black men. <laughs> Baby, you can't get too powerful. And if if uh, Steve Harvey was on his way to full ownership of his show and and being a billionaire, they go try to find a way. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. I <laughs> I'm too passionate right now. I'm too passionate. Y'all know how I get. But but ourselves and we used to say, if you ran into you, would you get along with yourself? Mm. And if you deal with other people, that money is more important than the integrity of letting you know what they're thinking so that you can leave on good terms. I'm saying yeah, that. We disagree with the way that McDaniel did it. Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, we disagree. Will Packer, we disagree with the way they handle it. But if they're still being done wrong, we don't then say that's what they get. Because the, that's what they get when one day be what you get. It'll be one day what your family gets because yes. they know a precedent has been set that the black community won't stand behind others what? when they've seen them done wrong because you only have a small margin of error when you are a person of color. Because Monique was the craziest thing in the world because she had the unmitigated, unmitigated goal to say, wait a minute, why would I promote a movie when I have no obligation to these individuals to promote it internationally. Hey, baby, cut your cut your uh, radio or whatever. Talk to us. I'm 
just appreciative of your aura and the education that you share with us. And you're just allowing this time, you don't have to do this, do this. And that, that shows your heart. But, um, I wish you well. I send you peace and blessings. I send you higher vibration. You're going to go way farther than you. Oh, y'all, we're talking about it today. Do we celebrate our failures? Earlier, I was speaking about the article. It's about in reference to Monique. And you'll see that despite what it says, sometimes we got to be big enough to say, you know what, though? If we keep uh, laughing at these folks and their demise, that's what we got in store for us, even when they're done wrong. Because mm. most people don't even understand the groundbreaking deal that Steve was trying to accomplish. Yeah. When he said he was trying to be a billionaire. Yeah. He was on his way. He, he, he was trying to be a billionaire and he gave it a good shot wow. and you got to respect it from a business standpoint. Though you don't uh, um, necessarily appreciate somebody's thinking regarding um, everyday life, that's okay because you can still, like, you got in a fight with, uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's nothing but love. So when folks say, uh, uh, I know you laughing and you tripping, it's like, no, that's, that's not, that's not how folks get down. And, 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 and we wanted to be clear about that because going through this, this whole thing with, with Hollywood and, and, this whole thing with Oprah and Tyler and Lee and Steve and and I gotta say Will Becca because he played a part too. And when you say these people are the juggernauts of our community in reference to entertainment, and for all that I named, every last one of them stood back and said nothing. Privately, you ain't do nothing wrong. Your husband ain't do nothing wrong. Publicly. They said nothing, and they said nothing out of fear. And someone would say, all the money they have, I don't care how much money you have, when your mental is in prison, the money doesn't mean anything. Woo. You have all, when you see here, my brothers, you heard Tyler Perry, on that tape, Tyler Perry, it was Tyler Perry, it wasn't Medea, it was Tyler Perry. And that man said, Moni, you and your husband did nothing wrong. No. And when my movie Boom come out, I'm going to say it to the world. Now, initially, that brother offered us $500,000. My husband said, brother, keep the money, just clear our name. And done wrong, we would speak out. Because they still our folks. They're still our folks. It would it's a difference between people doing things because they die violently and purposely yes. put into our community that says, man, if you speak out, look, I'd rather know what I'm going to get from these people than try to speak up for equality and then not know what's going to happen. That's why folks wasn't trying to march for Martin Luther King back in the Come day. On. It wasn't because they didn't think he was right. They knew he was right. Come on. But they didn't know the type of ass whooping that came along with trying to stand up for what's right. Oh, because we scorn it. Then have to look in the mirror and don't want to look at the sister looking back at me. Because I know what I've done, what I've said, and I know if I sold my integrity. I've given it away. If I said, whatever y'all need me to do, I'm going to do. Whatever you need me to say, I'm going to say. However you need me to treat people, even if they look like me, I'm going to treat them that way. But then at, late at night, when ain't nobody looking, I got to look in that mirror. And the woman looking back will say, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? And what will they say of you when you're no longer here? What will they say oh. about you when you're no longer here? And this is very passionate for me, as I'm sure y'all can tell, because I'm sick of us leaving here. Dying in despair, sick, because we stood up and no one stood with us. So then you'll celebrate in our deaths. You'll 
celebrate us and say, oh, we applaud what they did, but God damn it, while we were living, y'all watched us suffer. You watched us burn down. You watched us be sick. And I got to keep talking about that brother, Kurt Flood, because he was a black man who played baseball and said, listen, no one owns me. I want to be free to negotiate who I want to negotiate with. And that man looked at his agent and said, if I do it, will I ever play again? And his agent said, probably not. And then he said, but will it help the next one coming? And he said, yes. Mm. And then when you watch a documentary of all the black men that played with that brother, and that's and they said, we knew he was right. But we were too afraid because we didn't want our families to suffer. Mm. So y'all coward asses in that moment, y'all watched that man and his family suffer and no one said nothing. So when people ask me just as early as yesterday, I did an interview and they said, well, it seems like, you know, People aren't really standing or saying anything. And shouldn't more women of color be saying something? You're damn right they should be. But if you know your history, tell me about the lines of women mm. that stood with the 15-year-old black girl that got put off that bus because she wouldn't give up a seat because she was pregnant. But it was us. It was the black folks that said, no, she, we can't use her because she don't look right. Because she's 15 years old and pregnant. So we're going to disregard her. And we'll give it to Rosa Parks. Yes, damn it, Rosa Parks deserves, deserves the fact that she didn't give a seat up. But she wasn't the first one. She wasn't the first one. So this deal with Steve Harvey and Lee Daniels and Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry and Will Packer, all we keep doing is changing the faces. Mm. And not the stories. And that's part of the reason why we have to say on behalf of what's right. Don't throw Brother Steve away. Let's not be happy of one another's failures. Because again, one another's failures. Because we're connected in this. <laughs> and some people believe in God. Some people believe in vibration. In some people universe. believe in universal energy. But whatever it is that you believe in, know that there's a... Uh, it's not over because we all have an expiration date. Mm. And while we're still in the process of expiring, we don't know how it's going to play out, but what's beneficial in the way in which we can help for things to uh, play out for us is not laughing at what we consider other people's failures, even though somebody could say they got what they deserve. If we take joy out of that, then... It's the reason why we lose the message that we're not trying to call people out. We're trying to call them out. Mm. Yes, yes, Lord. Man, Monique got really, really emotional. I can tell that all this is coming from a great place. And even back then, same thing I said, you know, with Kanye, like y'all, yes, Kanye, I will say Kanye do spaz and he do trip. But there's a lot of truth in the in a lot of stuff that Kanye be saying. Like, it's a lot of truth. And they just trying to mess him up. But with Monique, you know, y'all talked about her, said she was crazy or she was doing too much or whatever, blase, blase. And now everything has come full circle. I just love the fact that, you know, they're not turning their back. They're not... Um, how you say it, um, I told you so, or, you know, just celebrating and, 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 and all of that nonsense over these guys, um, unfortunate, you know, events that is happening for them. I really do think that this shows royal moves. This shows a king and a queen, Monique and her husband, making royal moves, royal decisions to educate and not celebrate. Because nobody failure should be celebrated. And if we come together, man, y'all don't realize how powerful we are. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Black people are the strongest 
We are the strongest being, the strongest thing. Black men, especially. We are the most dominant, strongest thing on this planet. But we continue to be bastardized, dehumanized. We continue to be uneducated, um, taking in false education, false information, I'll say that, um, and brainwash, and a slave mentally. We continue, black women too, we continue that cycle and scared and, and not supportive towards each other. We're as powerful as our brother. You feel me? So if I'm not getting along with bro because of a simple altercation, a little disagreement, clearly we go have disagreement. We both got two different minds. We're both two different people. But if I if I would let that disagreement takes a um, major effect in, effect in our relationship. You know, we're, we're only as strong as I was. Like, no, we got to stay tight. We got to stay tight. We got to stay together, man. My royal family, I am your host, King Philippe. Make royal moves, man. Know your worth. Know your worth, people. We have to know our worth. Mm. I want to finish this interview because it's a lot of powerful message going on Hold on one second, because I really, really want y'all to hear this part. Y'all heard it, but I want to play it again. You don't celebrate in our deaths. You don't celebrate us and say, oh, we're the best. Because we're not. We're not. Maximum volume. A suffer. You watched us burn down. You watched us be sick. And I got to keep talking about that brother, Kurt Flood. Because he was a black man who played baseball and said, listen, no one owns me. I want to be free to negotiate who I want to negotiate with. And that man looked at his agent and said, if I do it, will I ever play again? And his agent said, probably not. You will never get the chance to play again. And then he said, well, will it help the next one coming? And he said, yes. And then when you watch a documentary of all the black men that played with that brother, and that's 